Hey everyone, thought I'd stop in again and put another video together here, show a little bit of my progress on uh, the CNC control panel. Uh, I now have it all wired. Uh, kind of go over a little few things here. Uh, I'll start down here with the standoffs. I don't know if you can see these or not. I'm kind of still learning this camera, so I apologize if it's not very clear. Uh, I got my four standoffs. They're an inch and a quarter above the surface. Uh, that will keep the bottom of the power supply away from the surface. Uh, wasn't really necessary, but in my case, I wanted to so I can have additional room to run my uh, wire in here through. Uh, this lower wire is the actual, and obviously it's not plugged in yet. I'd be getting zapped. Uh, this is the power in, <coughs> excuse me, for the power supply. Uh, this is for the E stop, uh, emergency stop, aka E stop. One wire of the ground will run to the power supply. Uh, then your positive runs up to the G540 will be mounted up here. Uh, I will probably put the E stop uh, right in the center in this area here. Uh, if you'd see my uh, first video prior to this one. I had mentioned I was going to put my switches down here on this side and change my mind. Um, go figure. <laughs> because the keyboards might be in the way and I might accidentally hit a switch or whatever, so I figured I'd put them up out of, out of the way here. Uh, this is my fan switches. Um, we're all wired. Uh, it's all live. I'll kind of go over that. I got my standoff uh, on these as well. They're an inch and a quarter above the surface. Uh, mounted to the fans, uh, inch and a quarter between the back of the 3 16th and the fan. Uh, additional 3 16th for the, for the bracket. Uh, the G540 actually will recess one inch down in the hole, so I will have uh, approximately a quarter of an inch, uh, plus the 3 16th. Uh, the difference, the gap, or the, the width of the mounting uh, plate that actually it will mount to this. Um, I haven't got the hole drill in here yet. The uh, two holes here, the two holes off the other side and over here. Uh, when I get the G540, I will get them uh, assemble all this and put it up on the mill and square everything up and drill them holes. Uh, I went with European style barrier strips. That's the original fan wire iron that came with the fan. Uh, I just cut the connectors here uh, were hooked to it so I could run the barrier strip. Uh, I didn't have to go with this type of barrier strip but I decided to. Uh, there's pretty much zero chance of getting zapped if you would reach into the cabinet while everything was running. Um, I suppose if your hands were wet maybe uh, that's not going to happen not with me but just an added precaution. Um, same down here, uh, running another barrier strip down here as well. Uh, the uh, home switches will run off of this barrier switch here. Uh, same as the fans would, basically. Uh, the negatives will run to the power supply. The positives will run to the corresponding terminals. For our pins, rather, off of our G540. Um, and I had already went over this fan up here. I don't know if I did on the last one, but I have a cover on it too as well. Uh, so you cannot reach in and accidentally hit the blades while it's spinning. Uh, it probably wouldn't hurt you if it did, but it's just an added precaution. So it's better to be safe than sorry. Uh, I'll fire these fans up and I'll show you how they look. Uh, they might be kind of bright because with this uh, camera I have to adjust the light. And, uh, wasn't the switches I had planned on being as bright. Um, they do light up blue. So I had hope they'd be a little bit brighter blue, but um, they're not, so I'll just live with it. But this is what the fans look like fired up. Um, they're fairly quiet. I don't know if you can hear them in this video or not. 
Uh, they're called Whisper Quiet fans, all three of them are. Why do more people choose State Farm? Can everyone please jingle their car keys? And this fan over here, it's, it makes a little more noise, so I got a different uh, power supply running to it. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the power is on that, but it's not quite 12 volt. Uh, these are 12 volts and 12 volt power supply. Uh, I went and got some uh, flex tubing here too to put over my stepper wiring. Uh, it's pretty much going to be water resistance anyways. Uh, just but for added precaution I decided I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, sleeve over top of it as well. You know, I forgot to mention in the last uh, video to two uh, the DB9 connectors that I'm going to be making for these uh, stepper motors um, will house one of these resistors. Uh, these are a quarter watt resistor. Um, a lot of times guys don't even bother with running a resistor. Uh, all it does is it um, cuts down the current a little bit for your stepper motors and makes them run a little bit cooler. Um, not too concerned about it, but uh, better to be safe than sorry. So I went ahead and I put purchased these resistors. Um, they're a whopping 15 cents each. Uh, so I figured it'd be worth a while to uh, get these. Uh, it will be soldered between pin 1 and 5 on the DB9 connector. And I'll be putting uh, videos together on all that as well. Uh, and then I'll probably mount the camera on the tripod. So um, you can actually see what I'm doing a little bit more and make it a little bit more clearer. Um, as you can see here on the mill, I got my home switches. Uh, mounting plates all scribed. Um, I'm ready to get started on them here pretty soon. Uh, get these all cut. Uh, notch them out. There's going to be uh, two half inch holes, excuse me, two uh, five, uh, five sixteenths holes on each side that will slide approximately a half inch. Uh, I'll be able to slide the, the bracket horizontally or vertically. Horizontally rather. And, uh, the mating pin that will come in with the ball on the end of it, the bearing rather on the end of it, will come in contact with the switch itself, will be adjustable uh, vertically, and I'll have a, a 360 degrees adjustable then in either, either direction, so I won't have no worries about uh, lining them, so that way with the home it'll It'll home in the same spot every time and not accidentally be just a little bit off or something. Um, that's pretty important. Uh, you don't want your uh, home switch to trigger too soon when it should be an eighth of an inch f up further because then your mill, when it goes down into your part, it's going to think it's an eighth inch off when you're actually going an eighth inch deeper, uh, for an example, than it should be. So that's uh, pretty important. You want that to be very secure and precise and I'll be putting together a video on probably doing this as well um, I'll probably mount the camera on the tripod somehow and I'll get it mounted up back here uh, to where I could go over a few things and you could actually see me milling it and how, how I'm doing it manually right now uh, with these little handles on these stepper motors that I made um, X and Y is this a piece of cake uh, Z can be a pain in the ass uh, with the little handle it, it's on it um, and it being up high like it is yeah. don't really use Z much anyways except for when you're, you're going down and up into the part to cut it and stuff it drilling uh, drilling holes and stuff like that is a is a pitta but as you can see I don't just reach up and just turn the handle it's very simple to do but I'll be putting over or uh, putting together a few videos on that as well of how to do all this how I'm doing it rather 
and uh, mounting all the, the home switch brackets. I'll be putting together videos on these. And, uh, I'm gonna start putting some uh, still shots on my site too, as well for people that wanna possibly duplicate uh, how I'm doing it. It'd be a uh, more convenient for them than to try to take stills off the videos. Uh, that's what a lot of people do. I've done it myself, and there's nothing wrong with it. So we're gonna close for now on this one, and uh, stay tuned, folks. And we're gonna get started on them home switch brackets. Then we're gonna get going on them the DB9 connectors, the stepper cables, and get all that wiring done. Stay tuned guys.